This is third grade go math lesson 1.6 and today we're going to use the break apart strategy to add. So the directions say estimate, then use the break apart strategy to find the sum. So if we look across uh, one through six here and all of these um, problems we have estimate and then a blank except for the first one where the answer is given to us for the estimate. We're going to estimate first then we're going to break apart the numbers into what's called expanded form and um, this is something that you did in uh, some form in first grade and second grade and now we see it again in third grade so let's go ahead on to estimating we're looking um, to round or round to the nearest hundred so if I'm looking at my middle number my tens and to uh, to um, estimate for the hundreds I have I know two is um, less than five so if it's less than five the three stays the same when we round then if I look at 494 again I look at my tens to figure out my hundreds and if I'm looking at my tens the tens are five or higher and then the digits nine and so the the hundred is going to round up to 500 so we have 300 plus 500 and that's how they got their 800 there um, so that's how the estimate how, that's how they found the estimate now we're looking at the expanded form so all they did um, was break apart the hundreds tens and ones hundreds tens ones so three hundreds two tens or twenty and five ones four hundreds nine tens or ninety and four ones then they um, went ahead and added these vertically and so 5 plus 4 is 9, 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 9 is 11. So we got 110 for the middle number. And then we have 300 plus 400 equals 700. So um, what we will do from there is I've instructed the students to start with the ones. So I go across, I see 9 ones, 0 ones plus 0 ones is 9, um, nine ones. Then I go to my tens, there's no tens. 110 plus no tens is 110. And then I have no hundreds plus 100 plus 700 is 800. And we have 819. Um, if you went to do it this to do it vertically, 5 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 9 is 11. I regroup. 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So it comes out the same way. Now, we're going to look over and do number 2, fresh. And I see I'm going to go ahead and round for 518 and 372. So 518, um, to round to the nearest 100, I need to look at the 10s, which they're 110. And those 10s um, make the, the only 110 makes this number stay the same, since it's less than the 510s. So we have 500, then I look at the tens of 372, and there are seven tens, that is um, five or higher, so this is gonna round up to 400 from 372. So to estimate, I add 500 plus 400, which is 900. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the expanded form like we did over here, or that was done over here already. So again, hundreds, tens, ones, hundreds, tens, ones. So we're going to do 500 plus 10, there's 110, and 8 ones. 500 plus 10 plus 8 is 518. Now we're going to break apart the hundreds, tens, and ones for 372. So 3 hundreds plus 7 tens, or 70, and 2 ones. Now I'll draw a line here. And then we're going to add, going vertically, and make sure this is clear, this is a 7. So we have 8 plus 2, which is 10. So we're going to go ahead, regroup. Actually, I'm not going to regroup, I'm going to add 10. I'm going to make it like that. Then 10 plus 70 is 80. Then 500 plus 300 is 800. So, 
Now I'm going to go ahead and add, um, add going across. Remember, start with your ones. Don't start with the hundreds. Don't start with the tens. Start with the ones. So I have zero ones, zero ones, zero ones. Eight plus two is ten, so that makes sense. Now I look at my tens. One ten plus um, eight tens is nine tens, and then we have zero tens, so that's still nine tens. And then I have no hundreds, no hundreds, and there's eight hundred. So my answer, just like if I do it vertically, is eight plus two is ten. Regroup. Two ones plus seven makes nine. Five plus three is eight, so eight hundred ninety. And that is how we use the break apart strategy to add.